Hello everyone, this is your German teacher Erhan Özdemir from Istanbul, Turkey. In this video, I'm going to teach you the German alphabet, but then after we are going to see the spelling of these uh, words and uh, actually the alphabet. Now let's get started. Das Alphabet, which stands for the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, V, X, Y, Z. Now please repeat after me. A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, G, H, H, I, I, J, J, K, K, L, L, M, M, N, N, O, O, P, P, Q, Q, R, R, S, S, T, T, U, U, V, 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 X, X, Y, Y, Z, Z. I'm sure that you've noticed that uh, the alphabet is similar to English, but in English uh, there are some uh, some alphabet uh, words which are uh, not uh, here in in English but uh, in German. Now we are going to see these pronounces. This is a, eh, which is a sharp a uh, eh, eh. Please repeat after me a eh, a. Eh. And the small version of this would be a eh also. And this, ö, ö. And the small version of this letter is ö, ü, ü, as you see, ü. Please repeat after me, ä, ä, ö, ö, ü, ü. In the German alphabet, there are some letters which come together and are pronounced in a different way, in a different shape. So let's see these words or phrases, let's say. E, I. When this comes together, when we see a word, a phrase, which is with E, I, this is pronounced as I, I. But if we see, for example, E, U, this is pronounced as I, I. For instance, if we see the S, P together, this is pronounced as SHP, SHP. If we have the two letters S, T together, this is pronounced as SH, SH. If we see S, C ha this is pronounced as sh sh if we have the letter e a together the opposite of i then we have to take this uh, e and have this in a long melody which stands for e e 
So what about this? PF. If we see this, we need to say Yeah, that uh, seems to be a little bit hard, a little bit sharp to say, but if you see CH, this is pronounced as sh, sh. Yeah, as I said, but uh, if we say, for example, for me, for I, this would be, if I put here E, that would be ich, which we'll see as a pronoun in the German, which stands for I, this is so please repeat after me. I, I, oi, oi, sp, sp, st, st, e, e, p, p, sh, but also ish. Let's repeat again. A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, G, H, H, E, E. J, J, K, K, L, L, M, M, N, N, O, O, P, P, Q, Q, R, R, S, S, T, T, U, U, V, 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 X, X, Y, Y, Z, E, E, Ö, Ö, Ü, Ü, I. I, oi, oi, sp, sp, st, st, e, e, pf, pf, Now let's continue with a small dialogue. In this dialogue there are structures, some words, some questions, which will be uh, in our uh, later the videos. And so uh, please concentrate yourself uh, only on the alphabet, on the letters, okay? So let's get started. If you say wie heißt du, that stands for what's your name? So wie heißt du, what is your name? So my surname is Özdemir, okay? And here we see Wie bitte? Wie bitte? This stands for pardon me. Okay, so pardon me stands for in German wie bitte. Okay, so if I say I am spelling this word, that sounds to be a little, it seems to be a little bit confusing and complicated, but it isn't. Buchstabiere, that means spelling. I'm spelling this, so that stands for Buch. Stabiere. Please repeat after me. Ich buchstabiere. Okay, so you need to concentrate yourself in the alphabet, right? In the German alphabet. So uh, I would say this for Ö, Z, D, E, M, I, e, R. If I say thank you, that stands for Danke. You're welcome, bitte. Okay, so uh, we could uh, do a repeat of this dialogue. Wie heißt du? Wie heißt du? Özdemir. Özdemir. Wie bitte? Wie bitte? 
Ich buchstabiere. Ich buchstabiere. Ö, Ö, Z, Z, D, D, E, E, M, M, I, I, R, R. Danke, danke, bitte, bitte. In this video, we had the German alphabet and the spelling of the letters. Uh, I want you to uh, like our channel, comment our channel and share our channel with others. See you soon.